So in this video, we're going to look at proving by induction that the sum of r times r plus 1 from r is 1 to n is n times n plus 1 over n plus 2 over 3. OK, so let's start off. So step 1, prove true for n equals 1. So let's substitute in n equals 1 into the left-hand side. So the left-hand side says that we should have uh, 1 times 1 plus 1, which is 2. And the right-hand side, we would have 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 2 over 3. So that's 1 times 2 times 3 over 3, which is 6 over 3, which is 2. And so the left-hand side equals the right-hand side when n equals 1. And so that all works out. So it's true for n equals 1. We then assume true for n equals k. Okay. So r is 1 to k of r, r plus 1 is going to be k, k plus 1, k plus 2, all over 3. Okay, so that's our um, assumption. Stage 3, prove true for n equals k plus 1. So what do we want to arrive at? Well, we want to arrive at uh, k plus 1 times k plus 2 times k plus 3 all over 3. That's the end result. OK, so let's see how we get there. So we're going to have the sum of r times r plus 1 from r equals 1 up to k plus 1 is the sum from r is 1 up to k of r plus 1, r times r plus 1, plus substituting in that k plus 1. So k plus 1 times k plus 2. OK, so that's from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to k, and then we've got the k plus 1 term. Right, we've said that that is this. So we've got this one third. I'll put the one third at the front. K, K plus one, K plus two, plus the K plus one, K plus two that we've got there. So we can see that we've got factors of K plus one, K plus two. OK, so uh, K plus one, K plus two, and in the bracket, we're going to have a third k plus 1, OK, for that term. So those two brackets times that will get me there, and those two brackets times the 1 gets me there. Now, we want a third out the front. So I'm going to factor the third out, and that means I've got to multiply what's in the side that bracket by 3. So I get k plus 3, and we have precisely what we wanted, k plus 1 times k plus 2 times k plus 3. And so it is true for n equals k plus 1. So concluding, as true for n equals 1, and if true for n equals k, then true for n equals k plus 1, so true for all n, all natural numbers, n greater than or equal to 1. OK, and so that is the proof.